My name is Lucas Sin. I'm the chef of Nice Day and Junzi in New York and Connecticut. I am a Chinese chef in both senses of the term in that I am Chinese and I so happen to also make Chinese food. So this is the strip loin. We're going to be making a Cantonese dish called black pepper beef. It's a Cantonese Hong Kong's answer to colonization and to the deliciousness that is black pepper plus beef. Really good texture. We're probably going to trim most of the fat off because the marble is so nice. This is great. This couldn't get any better. Look at that beautiful ruby red. After Britain colonized Hong Kong, there were the fancy Europeans and there were the regular Hong Kong people. The lifestyle that the Brits had was a bit of an aspirational brand. They were eating steak, they had tomato sauce, they had pasta and all these interesting things. It meant luxury, right? But if you're a regular Hong Konger, the price of a meal, of one of these sort of like British meals, would have cost a month's worth of your paycheck. For that reason, um, Hong Kong invented these uh, cha chan tangs, which are Hong Kong style diners. They would serve toast, fried and scrambled eggs, a baked bean sort of like breakfasts, and then eventually also sort of lunchtime and dinner dishes like tomato sauce baked over rice, creamy seafood baked rice, as well as things like black pepper steak or black pepper beef. So the black pepper beef dish is very much a part of a Cantonese tradition, but it is Cantonese cooking as designed to approximate some sort of like European ideal. The main flavor components are going to be three types of peppercorns. This is probably the one part where I deviate from the most traditional, which is black pepper, white pepper, and citron peppercorns. And fermented black beans, daozi or dochi. A bunch of really beautiful vegetables, some different types of leeks in different places. When we think about beef in Chinese cooking, Chinese people really, really love tender cuts of beef, but they also are mostly scared of blood. So usually we tend to cook our beef a little bit more, but we still want that tenderness. So a lot of especially high temperature cooking like stir fries require additional marinades like baking soda and cornstarch or a water velveting to maintain that texture. In lieu of using a baking soda marinade, we just have a beautiful strip loin wagyu today. I don't really have a good understanding of my sense of cuisine, but I know how I start. I usually try to start with thinking about specific dishes and specific techniques that have been gospel. So this black pepper sauce we're building is basically a variation of a brown sauce. It's going to have a lot of activated aromatics as the base, so deeply savory. Super black peppery, like ridiculous, like, oh shit, so spicy. I think about dishes that I grew up eating, and I think about how my father and my mother used to explain those dishes to me, and I reevaluate some of those claims. From a scientific perspective, but also in a curious sort of like historic way. We're trying to figure out how this dish came to be the way that it is. And you start to build this atlas of flavors and food, and that's sort of like what's exciting to me. This finishes cooking of a sizzler. The, the hope is that the better you understand the science, the better the food's going to be. Also, the better you understand the history and the story and the origins of the dish, the better the food should be as well, because it helps you draw those connections. The value of the experience of eating that food is elevated.